Today, my lovely and handsome students, so welcome to our Sunshine session this morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Carl. So how are you all doing today, class? Wow, that's great. How about you, Chia, and how do you find this day? Oh, that's good. Uh, by the way, class, I hope you did not forget to sign in the attendance. The link was sent to our group chat earlier. Okay, without further ado, to formally start our session this morning, I am inviting everyone to please join me as we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we pray for the one who will be imparting knowledge to us. We pray that you will bless them with your requisite skills and mastery as they seek to open up our understanding in this course. We pray also that you will bless this session in our way. Please bless the participants and please bless the instructor. Take full control, O God, and make everything go according to your will and purpose. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning once again. Yes, good morning, Freya. Um, before our discussion proper, let's have some fun first, okay? Um, it's just a simple game and all of you are encouraged to participate in this activity. So are you ready? Okay, so our energizer game for this morning is entitled, Take a Picture of Your Shoes. So all you have to do is to take a photograph of your footwear that you're wearing right now or during this meeting. And after that, you're going to send that on our group chat. So you can use extra props, uh, funny posters or anything that you want to use. And later on, I will be asking somebody from the class to share a very brief story about his or her chosen photo. Um, for example, um, one might wearing a running shoe. So this might lead to the discussion about his or her fitness and rest. So anything you want to tell about your pictures. So I'll give you five minutes to do this. You can start capturing right now. Okay. Oh, someone has sent a photo already. Nice footwear, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess everyone in this meeting room has already sent their photos in our group chat. So now we have Miss Shumbi Haridia to share to us about her photo. Good morning, Jim. Thank you so much for that. A very interesting story indeed at Chimbi. Okay, thank you so much for that. Let's move on to our recapitulation to the topic that we tackled last meeting. So can somebody from the class uh, give us a recap? Uh, yes, Kaila. Okay, go on. Thank you so much, guys. So last meeting, we talked about communication and its importance. So we learned that communication helps us to build relationship with others because it allows us to share our experiences and needs. And also communication helps us to connect with others. So at this juncture, please allow me to share my screen first. So just wait for a while. Um, wait, um, I will be presenting a video of President Rodrigo Duterte delivering his brief speech uh, during the 2016 Presidential Awards for Filipino Asians. So just wait for a while. Um, I want you to observe and listen carefully to the speech since after watching, I will be asking for your respective insights, okay? Um, can you wait for a while since the internet is not that good? Um, okay. I think it is still loading. Okay, can you wait for a while? Wait. Just wait for a while, class. Um, again, uh, this is a brief speech of President Rodrigo the Thirty uh, in the year twenty sixteen. Wait for a while, class. Mm -hmm. I think it's still not. 
Okay. Still loading. Okay. I think it takes time to since the internet is not that good. Okay, kindly wait for a while, class. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the difficulty of online classes, the internet, you know, you are not I'm still loading. We cannot avoid this, uh, this such difficulties or interruptions, especially if we are having online classes. So we can wait for a while class. I think, okay, still loading class. Um, hope that you will extend your patience. Again, I want you to observe and listen to the speech so that you can uh, share your insights and also again observe the way how the president delivers his speech. So can you wait for a while? Mm -hmm. Yes, we cannot deny such um, problems, internet problems. Yes, the still loading class. Oh my God, I hope that the internet will cooperate. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, top and still loading. Sorry, sorry for that um you know interruption. Again, I will be presenting a speech or a video of, of our president of the good authority delivering speech during the 2016 presidential awards. So, okay, can we wait for a while? Okay. Thank you, thank you. I think the uh, audio is not that, you know, loud. So can you listen? Executive Secretary Salvador Mijaldia, Secretary Silvestro, Mr. Silvestre, Delio, Under Secretary Sociales, Maria Regina Angela Galias, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, awardees of the 2016 Presidential Awards for Filipino Individuals and Organizations, the de development partners from the international community and civil society, fellow workers in government, my beloved countrymen. <coughs> Let me just, uh, my one of my Okay, so that's the speech of our president, Rodrigo Duterte. So now we have Gemma to please share to us about her in insight with regards to the video. Thank you so much, Gemma, for that concise and brief idea. So the video that I presented to the class a while ago is related to our topic this morning, which is methods of speech delivery. But before that, can I ask somebody to give us a definition of public speech or public speaking based on his or her prior knowledge? Uh, yes, Churchy. Okay, thank you so much, Georgie. So according to Georgie, public speaking is an act of making speeches in front of the public and 
It highly needs excellent communication skills. So let's find out. Um, so let's move on to my presentation. Uh, can we wait for a while since um, still loading? Mm -hmm. So we have here methods of speech delivery. Okay. I'm still loading class. I am sorry for uh, so many interruptions, you know. Okay. Let's wait for a while, I think. Take for a time, take time. But, okay, again, we have here methods of speech delivery. So this presentation has three parts. So the first one is the definition of speech and also four methods of speech delivery. And we have also guidelines for delivery control, guidelines for delivery using the body, of course, guidelines for delivery stances that include gestures, and lastly, common pitfalls of delivery. So moving on to the next slides. At this point, uh, we will tackle the definition of speech or public speech. So this is also called as oration or oratory. So public speech can also be defined as the process of communicating information to a live audience. Also, public speech refers to the art of effective oral communication with an audience. So churches write that uh, public speaking is a soft skill that highly needs uh, excellent communication skills, enthusiasm, and of course, the ability to engage with an audience. So when we say soft skills, so this refers to those interpersonal skills that are less technical and more about in how you interact with others. So that's for the definition of speech or public speech. Uh, moving on, so can I have Val to please read everything that is written on the slide? Yes, good morning. Thank you so much, Val. So those are the guidelines or the things that one must consider, especially if they're going to deliver a speech in front of the public. So of course, as a speaker, you have to be prepared enough since public speaking is more formal than talking. You have to enhance also your skills, uh, those aforementioned skills such as communication skills so that your speech will be effective to your audience. So you must also, or I mean, there must also a, an appropriate usage of language to avoid misunderstanding. So that's it. Uh, we have impromptu speaking. So this is the first method of speech delivery. Uh, actually, there are four methods of speech delivery. So the first one is impromptu speaking. Uh, Jane, kindly read the definition of impromptu speaking. Thank you so much, Jane. So in impromptu speaking, the speaker delivers a speech without any predetermination or preparation. So mostly the speaker is given or provided with a topic in a form of quotation. So another example is that uh, when you are in, a, in an informal or conversational setting or when you are going to have in a self-introduction in a group setting. So, we also have advantages and disadvantages of impromptu speaking. So the advantage of this method is that it is spontaneous and responsive in an animated group context. While the disadvantage is that the speaker is given little or no time to contemplate the central theme of his or her message. So as a result, uh, the message may, may be disorganized or it will be hard or it will be difficult for the listeners or audience to follow. So those are for the advantages and disadvantages of impromptu speaking. So here are some steps that might be useful, especially when you are called upon to deliver an impromptu speech. So first, you, can, you have to keep your composure and then select a theme, and then also select an organizational framework, and of course, plan your first and last line. So those are the steps. 
So moving on to the second method of speech delivery, which is extemporaneous speaking. Okay, Carl, can you read the definition of extemporaneous speaking? Thank you so much, Carl. So in extemporaneous speaking, the speaker has carefully planned and practiced his or her speech. So it is well outlined, but not memorized. So the speaker can establish an eye contact to the audience. So it is a perfect opportunity for the speaker to know which part of his or her speech that is not clear to the audience, causing him or her to restate that certain idea more clearly. So just like the previous method, uh, extemporary speaking also have or also has the advantage and disadvantage. So the advantage of or the advantages of extemporary speaking is that it is engaging. Also, uh, extemporary speaking allows the speaker to be viewed as credible and knowledgeable enough. However, there is a disadvantage and that the disadvantage of this method is that it requires a long period of time for preparation. So that's it. So we have also some suggested steps to be followed, especially when you're going to deliver an extemporaneous speech in front of the public. So first, you're going to begin with a fully developed outline, and then you're going to convert full sentence outline to a keyword or a phrase outline. Also, you have to word the speech and then, of course, practice from your keyword outline. So those are the four steps for extemporaneous speaking. Let's move forward to the third method of speech delivery, which is manuscript speaking. Uh, yes, Rachel, please read uh, the definition of manuscript speaking. Good morning. Okay, thank you, Rachel. So in manuscript speaking, uh, it implies reading a pre-written speech word by word. So uh, it was also uh, it was also being noted here that the professional speakers, the news reporters, the actors, the politicians often read an auto cue device such as teleprompter. So the success using an auto auto cue medium depends on two. Factors. So the first one is the speaker is already an accomplished speaker who learned to use a conversational tone while delivering a prepared script. And the second one is the speech is written in a style that sounds conversational. So we have also advantages and disadvantages of manuscript speaking. So the advantage is that when you are reading in a manuscript, uh, there is a possibility that there will be an exact repetition of the original words. Well, the disadvantage is that um, sometimes it can be boring and uninteresting. So, and there are some instances that the speaker glued his or her eyes to the script that he's reading. That's why there is no eye contact to the audience that is being established. So those are the advantages and disadvantages of manuscript speaking. We also have steps for manuscript speaking. So of course, you're going to prepare an easily readable manuscript and also type with large font and double spaces. Of course, you're going to capitalize and lower, uh, you are going to use capital and lowercase letters uh, depending on the situation. And lastly, be familiar enough with your speech and sound like you're speaking extemporaneously. So that's it. We also have memorized speaking. So this is the last method of speech delivery. Uh, yes, Jane, uh, can you read the, the definition of memorized speaking? Thank you so much, Jane. So memorized speaking is also a fully prepared way of delivering a speech, but the speaker does not have any notes. So the speaker just need to, uh, needs to memorize or recite his or her script or speech. So the advantage of this method is that the speaker can establish an eye contact to the audience, of course, and she can or he or she I mean, he or she can move freely on the stage and can use appropriate gesture depending on the speech that she is delivering. However, there are some disadvantages. So the first one is that um, memorized speaking can be boring or flat. And sometimes uh, the speaker 
delivers his or her speech in a monotone style or in a so-called uh, machine gun style. And another disadvantage is that uh, the speaker can uh, can be, I mean, he can go completely blank during the presentation and it will be harder or difficult for him to keep on going. So that's for the disadvantage and disad disadvantage and advantages of memorized speaking. Okay, we also have steps for memorized speaking. So of course, you're going to memorize the structure first and read aloud several times then work on learning paragraph by paragraph. And then we have also, as you practice, visualize giving speech and don't go in transitory delivery. And lastly, if you go blank, switch to extemporaneous mode and recall the structure. So those are for the steps for memorized speaking. Okay, I also include here the guidelines for delivery control. So in uh, delivering a speech, you have to control your volume, pitch, rate, process, articulation, and pronunciation, lazy speech, deletion, substitution, addition, slurring, or mumbling. We have also guidelines for delivery using the body. Of course, you have to animate your facial expressions depending on the speech that you are um, speaking or delivering in front of the audience. And you have to maintain eye contact to establish connection to your audience. And then you are going to use natural, gest natural gestures and be aware of general body movement. Of course, you are going to dress appropriately so that you will be viewed as credible speaker. And then lastly, eliminate distracting mannerisms. We also have guidelines for delivery stances that inhibit gestures. We have beer hug. So beer hug, it is like crossing your arms like you are hugging yourself. And then ten hat, it is a military stance where you are very stiff. And flash one, it is holding onto one hand. And then we have also firing squad. It is like you're, when your feet are apart from each other and your hands behind your back. We also have wire boy or girl. It is like clasping your hands in front of you. And then cheerleader, it is putting your hands on your hips. We also have monster packet, it is putting, uh, putting your hands on your packet. So those are the delivery or I mean the guidelines for delivery stances that can keep the gestures. Of course, we have common pitfalls of delivery. So uh, some speaker may rely on one type of gesture. So that's uh, one of the common pitfalls. We also have use of one vocal characteristic such as mon monotone, and then there is an unnatural delivery and then random gestures. And also we have looking at one side of the audience. So as an effective speaker, you have to look at every side of the audience so that you can establish a real connection to your audience. Another pitfall is that looking above the head of the audience. Okay, so those are the common pitfalls of delivery. Okay, so that concludes my presentation. I hope you grasped something out from our short discussion. So any questions, clarifications, reactions? Okay, hearing none. I will now send the link of our quiz to our group chat. So please be informed that the quiz is composed of the three parts and all of you are encouraged to be mindful upon taking the exam since it is limited to one response only. So do not forget that it is limited to one response only. That's why I want you to double check every instruction in each Part. Uh, by the way, opening other, other tabs during the exam or taking screenshots are highly discouraged. So you are given 20 minutes to answer. And after that, you must go back in this meeting room using the same link uh, for further instructions. I hope everything is clear. Good luck, class. So you can start answering right now. Welcome back students. So how's the quiz? Is it easy or what? Okay, okay, I hope that you get higher scores and above all, I hope you have meaningful learning this 
morning. So now I want to inform all of you that you are going to create a three minute uh, speech about any existing topic in or issue in the country. And after that, you are going to record yourself as if you are speaking in front of the public. Um, you are free to choose what specific method of speech delivery that you're going to utilize during your presentation. So this serves as your performance task and there will be two outputs that is expected for this task. So the first one is the text only version of your speech. And the second one is the three minute video presentation. So you're going to upload your outputs in a Google Drive, the link of the drive and as well as the rubrics for this task will be sent to our group chat after this meeting. So please be mindful of the rubrics class. So deadline of submission will be on the first week of June. So any questions, clarifications? None? Okay, should you have further questions, clarifications, suggestions, reactions, please do not hesitate to message on our group chat. So that would be all for this morning. Thank you so much for attending this meeting and of course for your cooperation. God bless everyone and have a good day ahead. Bye.